Welcome back, Grade 12. This is an asynchronous lesson in Empowerment Technologies 12 for MELC, or the most essential learning competency, evaluate existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications in developing ICT content for specific professional tracks. I am your teacher, Air. And again, today's topic is existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications. Let's have a preliminary activity. Number one, which among the online technologies can make the traditional procedure easier? Is it A, online applications, B, online creation tools, or letter C, online platform? Correct, the answer is letter B, online creation tools. Number two, which online tool is used for online surveys without much of a hassle? Letter A, Google Forms, letter B, MindMeister, and letter C, Prezi, and D, or letter D, Wix. What's the answer? Correct, the answer is letter A, Google Forms. Number three, this tool is a video conferencing app that allows the user to create and join virtual meetings or online class. What's your answer? Is it A, Deped Commons, letter B, Google Meet, is it C, MindMeister, or letter D, Wix? You know this, right? Correct. The answer is letter B, Google Meet. Technology has made our lives far easier, and it has mobilized the stream of information worldwide using different online creation tools, platforms, and applications as companies shift from traditional mode to cloud-based and grid models. So today we will examine how this online technology will help you to successfully achieve the relevant competencies that you will encounter throughout this video. So but first let us understand what online creation tools, platforms, and applications are. Let's begin with the online creation tools. Sample online creation tools are Google Forms, Google Meet, you have Google Drive and Wix. Are you familiar with this again? Let's start with Google Forms. So Google Form is a tool for creating online survey forms and is considered as one of the easiest ways to collect data online without much of a hassle. And the link is https colon double backslash docs.google.form sorry, .google.com slash forms, okay? This is Google Meet. So Google Meet is a video conferencing app that allows the users to create and join in virtual meetings, speak or share video with each other from anywhere with the internet access. So this tool can also be used in conducting online classes. The link is meet.google.com okay next next is google drive so what is a google drive it's one of the most versatile cloud storage service that allows the user to upload files online and access them anywhere so this will eliminate the use of storage drivers such as flash drive memory card and other similar equipment the link is drive.google.com the last online creation tool in this video is Wix. So what is Wix? It is an online website builder that gives the users drag and drop interface when it comes to designing and publishing your portfolio, small business websites, blog, and other online services. It can be accessed through this link. The link is www.wix.com. Okay, so after the online creation tools, we now have the online platforms. Sample online platforms are YouTube, Facebook, and DepEd Commons. Let's discuss one by one. So YouTube is a free video sharing platform that allows the user to upload and view videos with a wide variety of content such as video tutorials, product reviews, and video blogging. And the link is www.youtube.com. Okay. Next is Facebook. 
So Facebook is a social media platform that makes it easy for a user to connect and share with their friends and family through messages and post status updates to keep in touch with them. And the link for Facebook is facebook.com. Okay. Depot Commons. So Depot Commons is an online platform for public school teachers to support distance learning modalities to continue the delivery of basic education. And the link is commons.deped.gov.ph. Next are online applications. So online application samples are Prezi, Sway, Google Photos, and Sibelius. Have you used these applications recently? Let's discuss one by one. Okay, so first online application is Google Photos. Google Photos application is an online photo album that allows the users to upload photos, view, edit, save and create videos, animation, collage, album and photo book in an artistic way. And the link is google.com slash photos. Okay. Next is Sibelius. Are you familiar with Sibelius? So it's a score writer program that gives users the ability to create, edit, print music scores, and play the music back using sampled or synthesized sounds. So it also helps drive the composing process while ensuring that your score is accurate, legible, and beautiful. The link is avid.com slash Sibelius. Okay, so this is an online application in music. Okay, next is Prezi. It's a beautiful application. Okay, so it's an online presentation tool that uses motion, zoom, and spatial relationships to bring your ideas to life and make your presentation a bit more eye-catching and engaging. Okay, and the link is prezi.com. Okay. Last is Sway. Are you familiar with Sway? So Microsoft Sway is an easy to use digital storytelling application that are designed to create and share interactive reports, presentations, and more through a rolling narrative rather than individual slides. The link is sway.office.com. All right, so after our discussion on online creation tools, platform and application, Let's have this activity. Evaluate the following website and determine if the website is an online creation tool, platform, or application, okay? Let's have number one, SurveyMonkey. So SurveyMonkey is a well-known online survey software that can help you to create and run professional online surveys. Okay, so what's your answer? Correct, it's an online creation tool. Number two, what about Google? So it's an online search engine that is designed to retrieve and order search results to provide the most relevant and dependable sources of data possible. Is it a tool, platform, or application? Correct, it's an online platform. Number three, what about Lazada? We're all familiar with Lazada, right? So it's an online shopping and selling marketplace that offers products from a number of categories, including consumer electronics, household goods, toys, fashion, sports equipment, and groceries with multiple payment methods. So Lazada is? Correct, it's an online platform. Okay, number four. Are you familiar with Can Academy? It's a nonprofit website that offers free word class education to anyone and empowers learners to study at their own pace anywhere. What about Can Academy? Is it a tool, platform, or application? Correct, it's an online application. Very good, guys. So there you have it. In today's video, we have learned the existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications. So the next lesson is about web design principles and elements.
Good job, everyone. So stay tuned for the next video lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, this is Teacher Air. Please stay safe. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. This is Teacher Air of Education Channel. Subscribe now.